my YouTube friends. I hope everyone is well. I'm doing fantastic. My name is June and I want to welcome everyone back to my channel, June's Family Life. Well, I am going to be doing a haul on the trip that we went to to Colorado and the Bible Prophecy Conference and all of the items that we, we bought. So I will be going through probably in two parts. Uh, first part is going to be the items that I picked up as we were traveling around Colorado and uh, some Dollar Tree items too that I picked up, traveled around and driving through. We went to uh, any and all dollar stores that we came across. And there's a lot of items that we don't get here in Canada that we would get in the US. So I found these. See, remember these ladies and guys? Aren't they beautiful? We don't have these ornaments in Canada, but I found them and they come in white and yellow, but I just picked up one uh, color in the blue. Beautiful. And I picked up the green one as well. I love it. Again, we don't get these here in Canada. So if we do, it's a small quantity and it's gone. So yeah, beautiful. I love the, the combination of the blue and the green together. We also uh, stopped in at a thrift shop um, at the Goodwill. Uh, we just wanted to see if it was anything interesting in there. Um, all the Goodwills in Canada, at least in Toronto, have all shut down. They all went bankrupt. So yeah, we can't shop there anymore. It's one less thrift store to shop at. But we found one and uh, we went into it and I picked up two pieces of milk glass. So I picked up this lovely one with the, the leaf and the grape design. I love collecting milk glass. To me, it has a slight bluish tint to it. I don't know. That's what I'm seeing. Um, yeah, it's a candle holder. Yeah, I like this. So, very nice. So, you put your candle in there. Yeah. So, there we go. I might put my, um, I might put a glass, a candle I have already in here and burn it. I love pedestal holders, candle holders. I love them. They're so gorgeous. So, yeah, I have never seen this before. Uh, this was $3.99, as you can see. Yep, and then I picked up this one here with the leaf design, as you see here. Yep, and it's quite heavy. And this was $2.99. Yeah, I, I don't know, I just, I just love milk glass. These items here, I picked up three shirts and a hat. And these items were all $7. And we picked these up when we went to the Cliff Dwellings. And my husband picked up this hat, Colorado. It was very hot there. So yeah, he used that. My daughters picked up Julia. She picked up this shirt here. The it says Eyes of the Night Colorado with all of the animals and these glow as well in the dark. So she's happy to wear that. She also picked up this one here, Moose, and it's pink and it uh, says Colorado here on the side, right here. And my daughter Brianna, she picked up this one here with the wolf and it says Colorado down on the bottom here. So all these items were $7. They had a whole table uh, outside, like a market set up, and they were selling everything under the sun. And they had all of the Colorado t-shirts, and they had um, like sweaters, and long sleeve shirts, and hats, and you name it, they had it with Colorado on it. But that's what we picked up. I have a whole bunch of magnets. We got from the Garden of the Gods. There you go. Those the the gar the gods there, the rocks. This was I think four ninety nine or three ninety nine. Picked up this one here from the Royal Gorge here. 
that's going over the gorge. You're taking the, um, what do you call, the gondola over. But we didn't do that. And this is at Pike's Peak, the elevation it tells you there. Yeah. So you pick that up. I love the magnets. I put them on my fridge and then I remember where we've been and what we've done. Uh, we also pick this up in the Garden of the Gods gift shop. It says Garden of the Gods Visitor and Nature Center, Brianna Road. My daughter's name, Brianna Road. I thought that was very interesting. And this one here, Julia Boulevard as well. Yeah. So I think these were $2.99. Yeah, so they're going to put these up in their room. So I think that's very, very interesting. And these are laminated. Uh, uh, very nice. So, yeah, I, that's unusual. I like picking up unusual things, especially with your names on it. When we were at Manitou Cliff Dwellings, I picked up another magnet here. This was $3.99. Yeah. I also picked this up. It is a beautiful uh, stone that they carved out. I'm not quite sure what it is. I, I forget the name of the stone. If anyone out there knows what stone this is, please let me know. It's a marble of some sort. And it is beautiful. It's carved out on the inside. Um, it is just gorgeous. They had all different types. I mean, there's like a greenish stone there. Uh, um, and this was uh, $12. Let's see that. And it's very heavy. I, I just I just love it. They had all different types of stones, uh, all different types of crystals, um, anything anything that you wanted. And they were at really, really good prices. I mean, um, traveling around, some of these items were gone. <laughs> At other places, other stores were going for $25 all the way up to $100, and they were smaller. And so this is a good price. They had any a lot of items carved out as well. Oh, like an animals or, or whatever, figurines or whatever. So, yeah, we got this. It's quite heavy, and I, I love it. So I'll be putting that up, and then I'll look at it, and I'll know, hey, I got it from when I went to Colorado at, at Manitou uh cliff dwellings right here it says garden of the gods i picked up two of these mugs again it looks like if it's like a a, a marble or a stone that 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 it's carved out of uh, it's pretty heavy it's got a nice handle uh it says garden of the gods visitor nature center and these were well fifteen dollars yeah pricey but you know i've never seen any mugs like this with this type of marbling effect in this color and garden of the gods and uh when we drove up to pike's peak at the mountain on the very top again they had a visitor center there and they were selling uh all of their their stuff right and they had these cups the same design but it says pike's peak on it um and it was a blue, a blue stone or dye, whatever. And that was $12.99. So I guess it's an ongoing theme in, in Colorado when you go to the, to the different uh, uh, sites and they're selling all their stuff. It seems like each place had their own mug with a different color. Some were green, some were blue, like each place. So, yeah. But... You know what? I like it. I like the Garden of the Gods, and I, I like, it reminds me of Pike's Peak, so, yeah, and I love this color marble, so, I don't know if it is marble, but, yeah, it's very heavy, very nice. Like, I collect press pennies, and this is a book that you put your press pennies in. It's the Royal Gorge Press Penny, okay? This was, uh, six dollars. But I like this because it folds out like this. I've never seen a book that folds out in threes. I picked this book up when we were at Carhenge. 
okay i've only seen them like this with the two and yeah i picked that up and what i do is uh i go around to the different attractions all over canada us wherever i go and i see a press penny machine and that's what i've been collecting i started this collection when uh I was tra when I met Mike and we traveled all over Canada and the US. That's my collection from when we went to Colorado and back. Um, yeah, I collected the press pennies at Carhenge, uh, the Garden of the Gods, uh, when we went up to Pikes Peak, uh, like everywhere that, that we went to the falls, to Seven Falls. Uh, yeah, I would collect one or two um press pennies and they were a pretty good price they were going for um 50 cents some were 75 cents some were a dollar uh yeah and that's what i did i even have a hummingbird one here uh this is from the seven falls i love hummingbirds yeah so yeah i just picked up a whole bunch here there you go. So it's pretty interesting. And the girls are like Julia. She finds it very fascinating and she likes it. And she was going around with me. Hey, look, mom, there's a, a press penny machine. Let's, let's collect it. So, yeah. So that's what I did. And uh, as I said, when I met Mike, we were traveling around. And these are some of the places that I started collecting. That's what I started. And this one is uh, the first album. And this one is full. And some of the places was, where did we go? We went uh, to Calgary. Uh, uh, where we went to the Big Apple. That's not too far from here. That's about an hour's away. We went, uh, oh, the, the Jungle Adventures when I went on the cruise and we took a, um, a day trip out uh, in Florida. Uh, I think the Terrell Museum we went to in Alberta. Um, or what else is here? Uh, it's just really nice to look back and to see where you went. Even I even tatted in Toronto too. I got the CN Tower here as well. These ones are the CN Tower. I don't know if you can really see them. Yeah. Wow. And we went to Banff and I uh, went to different places. Yeah, something interesting. I mean, if you ever wonder what the heck is a penny, penny, press penny, and that's what it is. So I always try to do that. So this book is full. This one, I have one more to do. And I have to work on this in my future travels, wherever we travel. So can't wait to fill that up. I love collecting this stuff. Yeah, it's a, it's a good souvenir. Well, that's it for now. I hope you enjoyed uh, some of the items that we picked up when we traveled around uh, Colorado and my penny souvenir collection that I, I collect. If any of you do collect press pennies, please let me know. Uh, yeah, it'd be quite interesting to hear what other people have picked up. It's a nice little hobby. I, I like doing that. So, All right, everyone. Remember, be kind to each other and have a blessed day. Bye everyone.